Hey, it's Mr. Mice again, and today we're going to talk about um, some mice, some Texel mice that I have developed. Oops, they're going to pop in the camera. <laughs> we're going to talk about some Texel mice that I have developed, uh, largely just from pet store mice. And so I am pretty proud of them. They look really cool. Uh, so let's check them out. So here they are. Um, I had been working on my own line of Texel mice um, before I purchased. So I, I purchased some Texel mice, and those are the ones that you see in my videos where they have the blue merle. Um, but I, before I purchased those, I was working on my own line of Texel mice, and these are the product of that so far. Um, and so they are unrelated. Um, or at least not closely related to the blue morals, uh, the blue moral texels that you're seeing in my videos. Uh, eventually, I will mix them together, and hopefully, we can really augment that fur, that fluffiness. Um, but yeah, I really love these guys. This one here is female. This one here is male. They are both 100% domestic. I was honestly not expecting them to be as fluffy as they are even. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting them to be fluffy, but uh, because that's what I was working on. But I just didn't know that I would get this much um, fluffiness in this particular generation. So I was pleasantly surprised with these two. I also really enjoy their color. I love this um, kind of light, washed out orange color. You can also tell that they are both pied. This one has a lot of depigmentation here. And this one doesn't have as much, but you can see on the side uh, that she is. And if you look at her belly, you can tell that she has a lot of depigmentation on the belly. Uh, something that I'm hoping for with these guys is that um, they're nice and fluffy, but on the uh, so on my other line of mice, the Texels that I'm breeding, the Blue, blue Merles, uh, is they have a lot of fluff back here, uh, but not a lot of fluff up here between the shoulder blade area and the ears. And so these guys look like they've got a lot of fluff all the way up. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, a lot of fluff all the way up, all the way up the head. And so I'm hoping that they're going to retain that uh, into adulthood, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, but it does seem like they have substantially more than the other pups did at this age, which I am excited about. And uh, something else kind of to, to think about, I guess, is that even though there are like particular genes that cause um, long hair in mice, there's actually a lot of different genes uh, in modifiers that affect the coat length of mice. It would be a, a polygenic trait. And so what I'm hoping is, is that the genes that I have in my blue merle texels are going to be slightly different than the genes that are in this line. And so when I mix them together, um, we'll get mice with augmented fur that's even longer, um, because hopefully the, the modifiers that are affecting their coat length are different in the two strains, um, and that we can combine them and make mice that are even, even more fluffier. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this interesting and you learned something. And also let me know in the comments, do you like this yellow color? 
I, it's one of my favorite colors, I, although I think I say that about all of them. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this one, uh, this light yellow color. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.